Hi everyone, I'm sitting here with my three girls on the bed and to be honest this is something that I don't usually allow for obvious hygiene reasons because as you can see they already made some boom booms on the bed <laughs> but uh, because I'm going to change the sheets uh, anyway I decided to just let them have a little bit of playtime with me on here and let them have a run around. Minnie, what are you doing? <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> so, um, as you can see, they're all doing very well, but I just wanted to make this video to give you a few updates uh, and let you know how everybody is doing. Minnie, oh my god, look at you! <laughs> She's so cute. Um, so, like I said, I wanted to give you a very quick update because I have some big news to share with you on Minnie. Next Wednesday is a very big day for her because we made the appointment finally to have her spayed. This is something that we have done with all our other girls as well. So Poppy and Misty were spayed and then Trixie and Lucy as well. Minnie! Trixie and Lucy, like I said, were spayed as well. And the reason that we have this done is because, as you know, female rats are very prone to um, getting problems during their lifetime, such as memory tumors and things like that. And that's just something that we would like to help avoid any way that we can. And because spaying rats is a good way to help prevent tumors from developing during their lifetime... This is something... Minnie, what are you doing? <laughs> Hi again. I'm very sorry about the sudden change in a video, but my phone battery was suddenly dead, so I was not able to complete my video. Uh, so I hope you don't mind if I just pick up here where I left off. I think I was uh, telling you that all my other girls, Trixie and Lucy and Poppy and Misty as well, had all been spayed in the past and that it all went very well for, for all of them. So all four times that we had the surgery completed, it always went really well. There were no complications. The healing process was very quick. Um, and every single time we were able to pick up our, our girls the very next day. So hopefully for Minnie, it will be the same. So I'm guessing we bring her over like always in the morning the vet will complete her surgery then during lunchtime. In the afternoon we can ring to see how everything went and, and how she got on. And then usually the next day we can uh, we can pick them up. So, so hopefully for her it will be the same. The vet always likes to keep them for a night just to make sure that they eat well and that they're uh, healthy, that there's no complications that suddenly occur. Which is good. Safety first. <laughs> so um, so that's what's going to happen. And um, it's something that I could definitely recommend. If you have female rats as well, then I could definitely uh, recommend having this done. You don't have to, of course. Or if you don't have a good vet who would be able to do this, then of course it's not an option. But if you have a good vet and if you're you're willing to do this then then it's something that I would definitely recommend because, like I said, we had the surgery done four times in the past. It always went very well and none of my girls have ever had any problems with, with tumors or things like that. Minnie, what are you doing? <laughs> Lucy has no idea what's going on. Who's there? Who's there? And what's this? <laughs> We know what it is. So, um, like I said, we never had any issues with tumors. Of course, unfortunately, we've had other issues with, with our girls, like um, respiratory infections, things like that. But we never had issues with tumors because sometimes when you look on YouTube, of course, through no fault of the owner... But sometimes you can see the most horrific videos of poor little rats with huge tumors that they're dragging around. And it's just really sad to watch. And 
whatever I can do to help prevent this, I will do. So we don't mind um, taking them to the vet and paying for the surgery if it can help them be healthy longer and just live longer because they already have such... No, no! Mommy has to clean it up. Um, but uh, like I said, so if if there's uh, anything that we can do to help them live longer, then we will gladly do it. So of course, next week, after the surgery has been completed and after we we have Minnie back home, I will make a video and I will just let you know how she got on, <laughs> how the surgery went and just show you if there's any medication that we have to give her in the meantime, just so you have an idea of, of how it goes and what they look like after they had the surgery done. So I will show you that and then you can rest assured that little Minnie is doing okay. Um, so I hope you enjoyed watching this video. I think you know what I'm going to do now. Clean up this bed, wash the sheets and put new sheets on the bed. <laughs> So uh, I hope you enjoyed watching this and then I will see you again uh, soon. Have a great weekend everybody. Bye! Oh, that's a nice way to end the video. <laughs> Bye!